Now, is the EIP still relevant today? Let's look at the facts. Today, nearly one out of every three HDB blocks and 14% of HDB neighbourhoods have reached one or more of the EIP limits, which means they've hit, for that particular ethnic limit, more than the national proportion already. This happens across all ethnic groups, Chinese, Malay, Indian, others. And if we don't live with each other, it makes it much harder to empathise with other communities and understand the challenges that they face and so much easier to stereotype or assume the worst of the other, the people we don't see or don't see so often. And this is a recipe for mutual mistrust and intolerance that we've seen in our early history, but also repeated in cities and townships all around the world. Could the leader of the opposition clarify, is he saying today that the EIP should be abolished? Is the answer to that yes or no? That's, that's all I want to know. And or is he saying that it need not be abolished, we can just look to see how we improve it? That, that's all I wanted to understand. Well, I'll be happy to clarify the doubts of uh, uh, the Leader of the House. The philosophical position remains. We aim as a society towards race neutrality. It doesn't matter what the colour of your skin is. We respect each other as Singaporeans. The Singapore family is going beyond CMIO categorizations, And that's the target we need to keep in mind. That's where we want to endeavour towards. Now, the government is the government of the day. It wants to retain the EIP for reasons which I would say are not totally illegitimate. I think I, it's important I state that. We have to, as Minister said, uh, even out the rough edges as much as possible. And at, at some point, I hope in my generation, within our generation, we reach that place where we are race neutral. Doesn't mean that races don't uh, sometimes things don't bubble over, but there are more important things that remind us that we're Singaporean and we ought to look beyond our skin colour.